Today is week two, day one of the military diet. Military diet Mondays. My breakfast today, single slice of toast with uh, two tablespoons of peanut butter and one cup of raspberries. I've switched out my half grapefruit for the raspberries. Uh, I looked up some substitutions last week, but it was after I had already bought all my food. So I had to eat a grapefruit last week. Did not enjoy it. I am not a fan of grapefruit. It's just way too sour for me. But raspberries for today. I'm not a huge fan of raspberries. But I definitely prefer them more than grapefruit. And of course, for day one, I do get some coffee. It is black, but um, I'll take it. I was actually up till about 4 in the morning going through all the photos I took over the weekend and just organizing them on my computer and stuff like that and backing them up on my external because there is a lot of photos and I've actually meant to dump a bunch of stuff from my computer onto my external uh, for a while now. So I took the opportunity to do that as well. Uh, not just the stuff from this weekend, but just some stuff that was taking up space on my computer. I posted some stuff last night and this morning on the Instagram page, which is November Sierra 902. Uh, if you want to check that out, it was a really good time. Uh, you know, spent some time in cottage country, got to see a buddy of mine get married, got to see some old buddies of mine from back back homes, which I haven't seen in a while, so that was really fun. And, you know, just had a really good weekend, you know, with the wife. But yeah, gonna eat breakfast and uh, get on with my day. I do find raspberries a little bit sour, so I mean, like, I wasn't just popping them in, but that cup of raspberries was definitely a lot easier to get into me than that uh, half a grapefruit last week. So, uh, so yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with the raspberry thing from here on out. So I have exciting news, friends. Uh, as I am only slowly becoming an adult, uh, I just got my first credit card this year. I have a credit card. I've had a credit card for a few years with uh, formerly Future Shop and now Best Buy. It's got a very small limit on it, but I can only use it there. So, and I've had a few other cards that are like that, but this is my first legit credit card that I've gotten this year. Moral to the story is, I made my first online. Uh, purchase uh, a little while ago and it just came in the mail today so I figured why not do an unveiling so we're gonna get into this it just occurred to me that it might be easier to do this in my bedroom because I'm probably gonna try all this stuff on okay so this is all from uh, Rose wholesalers and about a month ago they had about uh, some really good sales on like 75 percent off and stuff like that so i i had to jump at the chance i got about like four items for like between 40 and 60 dollars so not bad and that's including shipping pair of jogging pants number one pair of jogging pants number two i tried to get jogging pants uh, about a month and a half ago giant tiger and um, I had been in about a week or two earlier to check some prices and their jogging pants were on for like 10, 15 bucks and they looked really comfy. And when I finally got in to buy them, they had replaced them, that section with shorts for the summer season and they had no jogging pants out on display. So I was really pissed off about that. But then when I found, when I found this sale online with these jogging pants, definitely had to jump at that because um, I definitely need new jogging pants. Uh, this is like a like an Asian style dress shirt. It's just got like the one button. Uh, I'm not 100% sure what the style is called. And this. This is like a kind of a slim fitting hoodie. So uh, I'm gonna try some of this stuff on and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this is. Going for the dress shirt first. Okay, so I had to unbutton it 
this is definitely tighter than I was expecting. I do like the material though. It's very soft. It seems very light. It'd be a good summer shirt. I don't know. This is definitely a little tighter than I bargained for, so I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. All right, hoodie's not too bad. It is pretty slim. Uh, the neck is a little, I mean, it's not too tight, but it is a little tighter than I was expecting, but this is also kind of a style of hoodie that I'm not really used to, so uh, I do like the way it looks. Like I said, definitely slim, but not slimmer than I expected. Seems a little short down here, uh, but I'm also wearing shorts that are just falling off of me. If I was wearing something that fit me a little bit better, it might uh, the whole thing might uh, be a little more comfortable. But uh, definitely, definitely like the hoodie. Okay, so first pair of joggers is pretty nice. Uh, they're a little more slim fitting than I was expecting, but they, they look pretty good. Um, I mean, a little bit different uh, than what I'm used to. Yeah, not even really, I'm not going to try the other pair on because I ordered the same size. They should be fine. And my phone's actually almost dead because I did not plug it in last night because I'm a fool. Wasn't super impressed with the uh, dress shirt. That's unfortunate. But um, maybe I have uh, some friends that are a little bit smaller than me that uh, might be interested in it. But the hoodie was good. I mean, it, like I said, the neck goes a little higher than I was expecting. But it's a little bit of a style that I'm not used to. So I might just have to get used to that. But I do, it is comfortable. There's a little less blue on it than I was expecting. And, like, it's more white than gray. I was expecting more gray. But that's... It, the coloration is... I mean, my wife orders stuff off Wish all the time. And she gets completely different colors and patterns than what she ordered. So the fact that the gray is a little bit off. And there's a little less blue than I was expecting. I'm not going to complain about it too, too much. So I think that's about it for my unveiling. But, uh, yeah, super excited. It's nice to get stuff in the mail so funny story uh, coincidentally enough my friend Bonnie popped by this afternoon uh, shortly after I uh, opened the package I got in the mail and the coincidental part about that is the white shirt that I got that didn't really fit me uh, when it didn't fit me the first person I thought of was actually Bonnie because I thought uh, uh, like I said, it was a nice material, and I thought uh, it might fit her. And uh, so, yeah, it was kind of funny that she just wound up showing up, and I gave her the shirt. She, she said she liked it all right, so at least I found it a good home. Today's lunch. So I'm just getting supper together. So I did use a little olive oil just to prevent some stick. And I'm actually cooking both uh, because I have to take uh, tomorrow's to work. So for my side, uh, I do not have my beans. I don't have lettuce or any of the substitutes they uh, suggested online. So instead of a cup of beans, I'm going with a quarter cup of peas in the shell and a half a cup of broccoli. And I was pretty pleased to uh, find out I actually get the small apple as well as the banana with tonight's supper. I actually forgot about that. And as well, I get the uh, cup of ice cream. So tonight I am actually going to eat everything at once. I'm not gonna save my ice cream or my banana or anything like that. I did stay up really late last night and I did as a result sleep in really late today, but I do have to work in the afternoon tomorrow. so. I do kind of want to get to bed at kind of a decent time. Since it is 8.30 now and uh, I'm just cooking my steaks, I mean, I probably won't get my meal into me into me until the, you know, 9, 9.30, um, you know. Uh, I think I'll read a little bit too while I have supper tonight. Um, I almost finished my book over the weekend. I got really, really close and, um, and I'm kind of one of those people that knows what I'm going to read a lot of the time when I'm done the book that I'm already reading. So I'm kind of looking forward to reading the next book. So I do want to kind of hurry up and, and uh, finish that off. Week two, Military Diet Monday went pretty good today. 
So I guess I'll uh, check in with you guys and let you know how uh, tomorrow goes. Until then, peace.